Alba replacement or Alba arthroplasty is generally required for one of two conditions. Like many arthroplasties, it's commonly performed for degenerative changes within the elbow, i.e. osteoarthritis, or for inflammatory arthritis within the elbow, such as rheumatoid arthritis. The other common condition for which elbow replacement is required is following trauma, as some forms of fracture around the elbow are better treated by means of primary replacement rather than trying to fix the fracture, particularly in the presence of elbow arthritis. To deal with arthritis first, of course, elbow arthritis is generally treated by means of conservative treatments such as physiotherapy, injections and arthroscopic debridement. But if the condition progresses and the patient is in pain with limitation of movement, it may be appropriate to perform an elbow replacement. Essentially this means making a cut along the back of the elbow, taking out the arthritic parts of the elbow, including the radial head, and then putting an implant into the humerus and to the ulna. It's quite common these days to use an implant that is linked, as this allows early mobilisation of the patient without the risk of dislocation, which are always a risk of any form of implant surgery. In terms of the practicalities of the operation, the patient will generally be in hospital for one, perhaps two days, and after the operation it's common to put the elbow initially into a temporary form of plaster for comfort, along with a small drain to drain blood from the joint, and usually then, after about 48 hours, this is converted to a removable splint so that the patient can start to use the elbow as quickly as possible. In terms of the success rate of elbow replacement, it works around 95% of the time and has complications of infection or sometimes problems of the wound around the elbow as this is an area of poor healing, particularly in patients with inflammatory arthritis. And sometimes one would not expect full range of movement, particularly a lack of extension, i.e. the elbow straightening, Although flexion, which is far more important, is usually full, and this generally doesn't cause any functional deficit. Like all forms of joint replacement, it can take up to a year before full recovery is seen and full function regained. The other main reason to perform elbow replacement is after traumatic injuries to the elbow, specifically fractures of the humerus. Some fractures of the humerus occur in elbows which are already arthritic and therefore it's difficult to get these fractures to heal and some fracture patterns occur such that primary elbow replacement i.e. not trying to fix and recover the fracture fragments but taking them out and performing a replacement is the best option for the patient as it gives better functional recovery over a shorter period. Implants similar to those used in osteoarthritis are commonly used Sometimes what's called a hemiarthroplasty, which means only half of the joint is replaced, may be appropriate, depending on the findings at the time of the operation and the nature of the fracture. Thank you.